my name is Brian Sitch, I'm Curator of Archaeology here at Manchester Museum. I'm with Dr Andrew Fear, who's a lecturer from the Classics Department here at the University of Manchester. We're looking at a very interesting Roman altar from the centre of Manchester. It's actually found in a place called Castle Fear. Can you tell us how we might try and understand this inscription? Yes, yeah, certainly, Brian. Um, the nice thing about the Romans is that they left a lot of remains for us carved on stone and they, they tend to be creatures of habit. So they start at the top here, we can see that what's going on here is that a little dedication is being made, in this case in fact, to a goddess. It's the goddess of fortune or good luck and she's a little bit more specific than that because it goes on to say conserva tricky down here. So good luck, who keeps me safe? Um, Presumably, um, this man, we we'll come on to him in a moment, has had something nice happen to him and he feels the need to say thank you to this, this goddess who's kept him safe. And actually, often with these stones, it's always nice to look on the sides as well. I think on your side here, you can see there's a little jug that's been carved onto the stone. And on my side, there's what looks to the modern eye like a frying pan. And these are actually vessels for pouring a libation to make an offering to the goddess at that time. But the person who makes the offering is really quite an interesting individual. Um, lots of Romans have three names and this man is, is no exception. So his first name is just an abbreviation. In fact, the full stop in the Roman world goes halfway up the line. So there's L and we know that's going to be Lucius. And then we've got his middle name, which goes across two lines. So it goes Senechianius, down to here. And then we've got his last name, which is Martius. Uh, perhaps because he's a soldier, having a name Martius, related to the god of war, is quite a nice name for a soldier. Then what to us looks like a letter, a number three, but it's actually a special Roman abbreviation which means centurion. And then we're told the unit of which he is, this junior commander, namely leg for legion, number six, and vict, uh, the conquering or victorious legion. And we know from lots of other Roman stones that, curiously, this man was a centurion of a legion which was stationed across the Pennines in Yorkshire at York, the Sixth Legion. Um, why so, he's come here is a great mystery. So could this be evidence of Manchester's earliest commuter? Well, I guess certainly people do commute that far nowadays. And we really don't know. I mean, you, there, there are lots of stories we could tell about this stone, but of course only one of them can be right. One of them, if this stone, and quite a lot of people think it comes from the end of the second century, so the sort of 180s, 190s, uh, this is a time of trouble in Roman Britain. But for all we know, this coast is in trouble, and this man is bringing a detachment of Roman legionaries across the Pennines to make sure that this area is held down for Rome. Perhaps he was worried about his journey, and that's why he's made this dedication to good luck who keeps me safe up here. But we also know that Romans did in the Roman army travel, commute if you like, between one place and another. We've even got from Adrian's Wall a little expenses form for one set of people who did precisely this, and therefore we don't know. This could, there could be an innocent story here, or there could be a much more romantic and dangerous story. Fascinating. Thank you very much, Andrew.